Hey Sag, how are you? This is TC, your guiding chariot. Welcome to your May prediction video. All right, Sag, normal disclaimer, all in the description box. Um, for all my newbies, biggest thing is this is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, my only ask is that you take these messages as they resonate. If it doesn't fit your circumstances or you have to forgive too many things for it to make sense, let that message go. You may resonate with all the decks, you may resonate with one of them. Biggest thing is that you just take what fits, leave behind what doesn't. Um, because of that, I do recommend you watch the videos for all of your signs. Um, if you know that, if you don't know that info, you can get a natal chart done for free online. Check out the description if you need help with doing that. Um, and let's get into it. So usual set it, setup, I have three oracle decks. We're going to pull one card from each to get a peek at a certain aspect of your month. Uh, Romance Angels for Love and Relationships, Keepers of the Light for Personal Growth, and Good Tarot for Work and Finances, and then we'll get your main message from a tarot spread at the end. Oh, that came out real fast. So, you guys, there you go. You guys got the Trust card. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Love this. Um... Trust card for you guys right now. I think there's a chance that some of you just need a reminder that you're in a safe place to love. I think that might be might be something to consider. I think this is more so for my singles, but for sure some some of you in committed relationships may have been dealing with something that kind of shook shook you a little bit. I think this is just just a reminder that you are in a safe place, that you can trust. Um, you know, if you're coming out of a tough situation, know that they're not always gonna be like that. You know, so don't walk into new circumstances or new relationships thinking, oh my God, I need to be on guard, this person's gonna pull some stunts. Um, not going to be the best frame of mind for you. Um, for some of you, this could even just be, just trust in the divine. Trust in the divine timing and the divine plan, you know, <laughs> I keep I keep asking for this this dream lover who's gonna take care of me and do all this yada da 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 das and again I'm just making it up I'm not saying that's what you're looking for but you know I'm asking for this type of partner and I'm still waiting it's probably because of some divine timing we're waiting for him to get there we're waiting for there to be a vibrational match to what what you're giving out and what you're sending so lots of just faith that you are on the right road, that you are walking down the right path, and faith that the person you are with is doing what's right, doing the best, is an upstanding person. Like, I almost kind of keep looking at the card. You can see that the, like, the man in this card is, is like a, I'm going to say is this a little soldier or captain or something he might even be a pirate there's like a there's like a little pirate skull thing on his hat interesting no so oh you know now that i've seen that now that i'm looking at that pirate little skull i almost wonder if someone has given you reason to not trust i think for those of you in a relationship i think this one's going to be for you but it's almost like this, like everyone's telling you or, or you're feeling like oh I shouldn't be trusting this one this card is coming up saying like hey you might need to give a little benefit of the doubt so that that might be a slightly different meaning for those of you who resonate with that I've never all the times I've seen this card because I have seen this card many many times I have never noticed that that's one of the interesting things about doing this. Certain times you see, you'll see some symbols and then next time you notice completely different things and it's the exact same card. All right, Spirit, who is helping Sag as they move through Taurus season and through May? Who is helping them as they continue to grow and evolve on a spiritual and personal level? Yes, all right. This makes me so happy. See, so oh, I almost forgot her name. Lady Nada, Heart Awakening. I saw Heart Awakening and I just got so excited. So, definitely, like I was saying about having a safe place and knowing you're in a safe place to trust, this is definitely a huge heart opening for you guys. 
Definitely going to put you in a vulnerable spot. You're opening your heart. Prompt reads, awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Love this. These two cards together, super team. I love this. So, on a personal level, we're definitely opening up. I feel like for some of you, there's also a release. It's not just an opening. I almost feel like some of you maybe have been holding on to something. Like someone, someone did you wrong, someone did you dirty. Or, I think for some of you, this may even be like someone who you think has kind of been kind of shitty, sorry for my language, but like someone you see like has been kind of getting the rewards that you want, even though they have been effing around or, you know, you see them doing things that, you know, aren't, aren't very pono, like aren't right, yet they're still kind of getting you know these these offers and I think they're things that you want and it's kind of like that and I don't I don't mean to make you sound petty or anything but this is human like you're kind of sitting there like oh my god why don't I have that like I've been working for that she's and she's a bitch like you know it's that kind of thing like I'm not I'm not trying to make you sound petty or anything like that um, I'm guilty of that type of behavior sometimes myself but I feel like this is almost it's like a release of worrying about what's happening on the other side of the fence and just allowing yourself to be open and surrender and accept what blessings are coming your way. And honestly, that's the way to receive the blessings you want. Open yourself up to receive and then you will start to do so. But this is amazing. These two are definitely working hand in hand together. All right, Spirit, what is going on concerning work and finances for my lovely savages out there? What do they need to know about work and finance? Oh, that's a nice high one. All right. So you guys have the hanged man. Not the most exciting card, but also not the worst. I'm not getting such a bad vibe off of the hanged man here, but I do think you're going through a period of discovery and understanding and honestly I think you're questioning yourself and your career and your job at this moment you know is this what I love doing is this where I want to be in five years you know what if I could be doing anything what would that be you know I think that's the phase you're going through right now this hangman energy is all about introspection and you know on top of that your ruling planet is in retrograde right now. Jupiter has been retrograde for a couple, for how long? I think a couple weeks now, maybe at least a week. Um, so this also doesn't surprise me that you're probably going within a little bit. Do I think this is going to cause some major shifts at work? Not at the moment, maybe for some of you, but I think, I think for the most part, you're kind of gonna be at the same spot for a little bit, but you are going, internally is where all that activity is going, you know? And I think it's just checking that you're aligned with what you want. And if you are, great. I think this is just gonna solidify that and make it stronger. So sorry if you heard that. Um, for those of you who you kind of go through your introspection and find maybe you're not aligned, this is just gonna start you on your path to figuring out what that is. And honestly, I feel like that's probably gonna go through Jupiter Retro, you know, which is gonna be a couple months. So you're gonna be, you'll be doing that for a while, which I, which is why I don't see a whole lot of huge shifting happening at the moment, but it's really just this point of processing and kind of going through, going through the files and, and checking out that everything, that everything checks out. That's really what's kind of going on here. So not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all, all right? Ooh, look at that. I'm over here talking about you may have been hurt. Bottom of the deck as I shuffle. Three of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with some type of betrayal maybe, whether it's work. Definitely could be personal. But not to worry, you're having that, that heart awakening moment. All right, Spirit. What is the most important thing that Sage needs to know about going through Taurus season and making me a success. Most important message for Sagittarius. Oh, 
Yep, thought there was two cards for a second. Yes! Bottom of the deck now, Six of Swords. Things getting easier, moving out of distress. Love that. All right, so we have the Strength card, having the power to overcome. And remember, this is a gentle strength. We're not forcing your way through. This is you doing what you do and finding your way through it. You also have that infinity symbol. So again, this energy, this light, this, this, this life you bring to the situation, it is unending. You are not going to run out of this power. This is, this is an innate natural force within you. You know, and I, I'm saying this for some of you. I'm also getting Leo off of the, I mean, it is the Leo card, but it's making me think of Leo season. Um, so for some of you, you might see, and it could even be linked to this hangman, you might, Leo season is when you start seeing the fruits of this introspection, this processing. That might be when you start to kind of work through some things and get out of it and find some new opportunities. So Leo season might be significant for, and as I say that, it's 11-11 on my, on my camera. So Leo season might be a thing to just be aware of. Mother of Pentacles, next card out. Also a beautiful thing. You know, I always, so this would be the Queen of Pentacles, but I always connect them to mothers. All the queens act like mothers, but it's, it's what they tend to nurture and what they tend to care about. This, this particular mother, Mother of Pentacles, is really getting me to the heart awakening to Lady Nada. This is really a card about focusing on your wellness, health, diet, sleep, stress levels, um, making sure you're taking care of your physical body, making sure you're taking care of your just kind of overall wellness and making sure you're kind of in harmony. Oh. Again, this could also be worried about resources, so this could include finances as well. Um, but again, it, it feels like that temperature check. We're just going back and making sure you're good, you're feeling good, all right, not so much. Okay, what can we do about that? Okay. But that's, that's kind of where I see this energy coming to you. And then we have the Two of Pentacles, the need to be fluid and flexible for sure, you know. And I think that applies to both scenarios. Personally, it's like, you know, I'm processing some hurt, but I don't want to be closed off, so I still need to be vulnerable and open. You know, I'm doing this to pay the bills, but I don't know if this is what I really want. You know, so it seems like this month you're going to do a lot of I don't want to say vacillating. I don't think you're going to be hopping from one thing to the other, but you need to kind of maintain both. You know, if this is like work, like you have to maintain and be performing well to get the paycheck, to pay for the rent, the food, all of that. But at the same time, you need to take the time to process and really see, is this where you want to be? Should we be looking for options? Maybe we're, we like the, where we are, but we want to elevate. You know, it's all of that. So it's kind of, you have to balance the internal and the external worlds. Woo, look at that. Nine of Swords. So, feeling a little anxious. This is probably why we need to be maintaining. We may, we may even be anxious about having to kind of go through this extra dance, trying to get maintain this balance. That could be where this Nine of Swords is coming in. This Nine of Swords may just be issues or problems going on in your world that's forcing you to go through this hangman situation. Honestly, at the moment, I don't know if this is a huge thing for most of you yet. You know, like, I feel like this is going to come later on in the month. I don't think it's something that's going to be with you right now. So if some of you are dealing with stuff and you're, you're like, and I feel like this is mostly going to be work. Because I feel like, personal-wise, if anything funky was going to happen, it probably would have happened. And now you're in this process of opening and releasing and, and probably welcoming in. So I don't think this is about personal or romance. I feel like this is definitely more work related. I think work is kind of taking over this, <laughs> this particular spread. Um, but I feel like this is not already here. Whatever is causing this anxious energy hasn't come yet for most of you. You also have the High Priestess, very intuitive energy makes sense you have some introspection here this is getting your answers through your intuition taking some some quiet time to connect with yourself and go within you're not going to get your answers from looking out you need to look within you've got to figure out the answers to this question or these questions whatever you're asking yourself 
Yep. And then here it goes. Nine of Cups, emotional contentment. Beautiful. So you've got two nines, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. How to get from one to the other, how to go from this anxiousness to contentment is through your intuition, through your inner self. And this isn't, if this was a hermit, I would be like, oh my God, go meditate, have a quiet time, speak with your guides. This, although I mean, technically it's dealing with your intuition, so you could still be talking with your guides. But to me, this is a very, this is, this is you internally. This is you going through the processing. This is you going through your own healing. You know, in a, in a traditional deck, the High Priestess is always pictured with a scroll that she, she's kind of holding to herself. You can't always see it. Sometimes she's depicted with the scroll facing out. But the, the High Priestess, your higher self, your inner, your, you know, your inner intuition has something to share with you. And that's where you have to go to find your answers. A lot, of, a lot of the answers to whatever you're dealing with this month are going to come from inside. You have you know, some heart chakra opening here. You have being willing to trust and be vulnerable. You know, we've already got the High Priestess out speaking to intuition. Physically, it's kind of about balancing and maintaining here, you know, and knowing that you have the strength to kind of push through. Most of your work this month is going to be internal, all right? That's really where, where I'd recommend you put your focus. Because everything outside seems like it's just a balancing act. So as long as you can maintain that, that's great. The extra energy you have goes into this. Yeah, and honestly, this is whether, this is, it could be done through meditation, this could be through journaling, this could be through intention work, this could be through getting a reading, you know, this could be through many things. And I, honestly, I'd almost say getting a reading would probably be one of the later options, um, because again, this really is coming from inside of you, you know what I mean? Whereas the cards, yes, are giving you messages and helping you. Um, but the cards, to, to me, the cards are, are never, they're not really telling you anything you don't already know somewhere. Like somewhere in you, you know these answers already. Um, that's why when we give a reading, I talk about what resonates. You know, it should spark something that, you know, feels familiar or feels common. You know what I mean? So you could do this as, some, as a form of getting confirmation. Or if you really, like, I have no idea, I'm so not in tune with what I need right now, I need someone else to tell me, then go get a reading. But for the most part, I think this is really coming from self-reflection, is really gonna be the big key for you, Sag. And then that's where you find this peace, where you find this balance, this happy space, all right? All right, my lovelies, I am gonna wrap up the reading here. <coughs> there it is, I felt that cough coming. Um, but yes, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Looks like a lot of healing and a lot of opening this month, which is beautiful. Biggest thing, again, that self-reflection, that introspection. That's my, gonna be my, my recommendation for you this month, all right? As always, thank you, Sag, for joining me. Thank you for taking the time to watch your video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know thoughts, comments in the comment section below. Thank you for all the likes, subscriptions, all that good jazz. You guys are amazing. Um, feel free to reach out to me there. You can reach out to me on Instagram, at The Guiding Chariot. And if you do want to book a personal reading, all that info will be in the description box. Um, either hit me up on Instagram or I have an email down there as well. All right, my loves, take care. Wishing you the best, and I will see you in your next video. Bye.